In accounting, we have two types of accounting. We have cash-based accounting, which most of you are used to, and we have what we call accrual-based accounting. First, let's talk about cash-based accounting. Cash-based accounting records only cash transactions. So only cash receipts and cash payments are recorded whenever we do cash-based accounting. Cash-based accounting ignores a lot of important information and it results in incomplete financial statements. As a result, cash-based accounting is only used by the smallest businesses. So a lot of the small businesses that you find in strip malls, they will use cash-based accounting. But majority of the businesses use what we call accrual accounting. Accrual accounting records the impact of transactions when they occur. In Chapter 2, you saw how we um, analyzed transactions and recorded whether we, we received cash or not. That was practicing accrual accounting. Accrual accounting is required by generally accepted accounting principles. So according to GAAP, it says we need to prepare our financial statements using accrual accounting. Accrual accounting records revenues when they are earned and expenses when they are incurred. So make a note of that. Revenues when they're earned, not when they are collected or paid by customers, it's revenue when it's earned. And expenses are recorded when they're incurred. Not necessarily when we pay for expenses, but when we incur expenses. That is accrual accounting. Accrual accounting records both cash and non-cash transactions. Cash transactions include things like collecting payments from customers, receiving any interest that we earn, whenever we borrow money, paying expenses, paying off loans, issuing stock, all those are cash transactions. Those will be recorded in your cash-based accounting as well as accrual accounting. However, non-cash transactions are a little hard to understand. You have been looking at these over the last two chapters, but if you are a business preparing your financial statements based on cash-based accounting, you would not have recorded any of these non-cash transactions. We are doing accrual based accounting in this semester. That is the one that's required by GAAP. So we are going to use both cash transactions and non-cash transactions. Non-cash transaction examples are sales on account. Whenever we sell on credit, that is a non-cash transaction. We provide goods or services, which we call revenue, but our customer doesn't pay us cash. It's on account, which means they give us an IOU. We have an account receivable as a result of sales on account. The reverse is a purchase on account. That's when we, the company, purchase goods on credit. We purchase inventory or supplies, but we don't pay cash. We buy it on credit, which means we have an account payable created on our books. Accrual of expenses not yet paid. For example, if we use up electricity for a whole month, our electricity bill will be coming to us in the next month, in the following month. So let's say we are in July right now. If we're in July, we use up electricity for a whole month, the month of July. We will not get our electric bill until August. But if you're preparing financial statements for July, you need to recognize that you had a month worth of electric expenses that were not yet paid. So therefore, you would have a utilities expense and you would have an accounts payable. Depreciation expense, the non-cash transaction, we'll talk about that later during the chapter. We will also talk about usage of prepaid expenses later during the chapter. Another non-cash transaction is earning of revenue when cash was collected in advance. The last item would be, for example, if you were to hire an attorney or a lawyer, you would have to pay a deposit or an advance to, for you to hire the lawyer. And that, when the lawyer provides you the services, becomes a non-cash transaction. And we will talk about that as we go along further into the chapter. Let's take a look at an example for cash basis and accrual-based accounting. Here's an example for 2012. 
let's assume that you provided services worth of $200,000. For those $200,000 services, we collected cash in 2012 of $100,000. We had expenses of $145,000 for 2012. The amount of cash paid for those expenses were $125,000. The question is, what is your net income? And I want you to calculate it under the cash basis as well as the accrual basis. Let's first take a look at the cash basis. Under cash basis, we say that the cash receipts and cash payments are the only transactions that we record. To calculate net income, you know that net income is revenues minus expenses. So under cash basis, what would be recorded as your revenues? It would be whatever cash you collected for your services. That would be the $100,000. Now what would be considered expenses under the cash basis? It would be whatever cash we paid out for expenses. In this case, it would be the $125,000. Your net income is revenues minus expenses. so. Your net income under the cash basis would be a truly a net loss of $25,000. Now let's look at the accrual basis accounting. Under accrual basis accounting, we record cash and non-cash transactions, which means if we provided service and earned a revenue, we would record all revenues regardless of whether we collected cash for those services or not. If we didn't collect cash, they would be shown under our balance sheet as accounts receivable. So under the accrual basis of accounting, your revenues would be $200,000. Now let's look at your expenses. Under accrual basis, we would record, measure all your expenses and record all your expenses in your books, whether we paid for them or not. If we paid for them, they would have been paid with cash. If we didn't, they would be shown as a debt in our books of accounting as accounts payable. Under accrual based accounting, our expenses would be 145000 We would have incurred $145,000 worth of expenses. Therefore, what would be a net income? Net income is revenues minus expenses, and it would show that for 2012, we made a profit, a net income of 55000 now those two numbers are vastly different. If you were a cash basis, if you were preparing a financial statements on cash basis, you would have said you made a loss of $25,000. Whereas if you were preparing accounts on accrual basis, you said we made profit of $55,000. Now, remember profit is not cash. Profit does not mean that all our customers have paid for our services nor does it mean that we have paid for all the expenses that we have incurred. It just means that we measured how much revenue we uh, made during the period, how much revenue we earned during the period, and how much expenses we incurred. And we ended up making $55,000 of net income. Accrual basis is more accurate because that shows the true picture. Accrual basis is required by GAAP so make sure that whenever we prepare financial statements, we are using accrual-based accounting. If you've forgotten what GAAP stands for, it's generally accepted accounting principles, and those are the standards by which we prepare our financial statements.